Welcome back to Projects with Everyday Dave. If you're building a home solar panel system, at some point you're going to have to deal with these MC4 connections. Solar panels generally come with them. There's a male and a female version. And if you want to connect those panels to your home or some other combiner box, you'll need a cable that has an MC4 connector on one end and bare wire on the other to go into a lug or a wire nut. So today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on assembling these MC4 connectors. I'll tell you where I got my materials and what you need to know to put them together. So let's put one together. Okay, we'll take our 600 volt solar wire. In this case, we're going to use our female connector, which actually goes with the male pin. The male pin slides right inside the female pin, so you can identify which is which. But it goes with the female connector, so just make sure you get the right pin with the right connector. First, we just unscrew the end and slide the nut down the wire, so it'll be on there when we go to reassemble. Our wire is pretty thick, so it's easier to put the bushings on separately. First slide on the bushing that grips the wire, slide it down out of the way, and then put on the rubber bushing, which is going to seal our wire and make sure no water gets in. Let's make sure we get the copper wires all out of the way, and then slide the bushing on. It's a little bit tight. Then we'll make sure that we have enough wire stripped so that it goes up into the connector a little ways and slide it right up to the insulation. Then I'll take my MC4 crimping tool here, which is really nice because it ratchets and won't release until it's fully set. So we'll put it right in the die and squeeze it and then it releases. And we can give it a little tug and make sure it's tight. We're good to go. Now we can just slide our connector on and it will snap in place and then we'll just make sure it doesn't come off and then I can slide the rubber bushing up inside make sure it fits nicely and seals the connector to the wire and then the wire gripping bushing slides over top of that and that's what's going to hold the wire tightly when we put the nut on so we'll slide the nut on and thread it on they make a tool that you can use to put these together but a crescent wrench and a set of channel locks works just fine and actually you can probably get them hand tight in most cases but we'll just tighten it up here and then it will be completely sealed and we'll have a connector wire ready to connect our solar panel positive and negative ends to the combiner box it's good and tight good to go All right, so if you're gonna be doing any kind of solar work at all, I recommend you get just a couple of simple tools. They're inexpensive. I'll leave a link for these in the description below. This is a clinch tool, and it clinches together the internal component that attaches to the wire. It's ratcheting, and it makes sure that it does not release until the part is completely clinched around your wire. Uh, there are people on the internet that say that you can do it with pliers. I don't recommend that. These make sure you have the proper connection. The other tool is this removal tool, and this allows you to take these components apart easily. When you put them together, there's a watertight seal and they snap tightly. And you can push these clips in by hand and get them apart. That's not terribly difficult, but if you're doing a lot, or if you have one that's kind of stuck, this tool makes it a lot easier. It just slides in this slot, and then they come right apart. It's uh, pretty easy to use. The other thing to remember is for the internal components, you have a male end and a female end that go together. The male end goes inside the female external connector, so just make sure you don't get those backwards. Uh, it's a little counterintuitive. Uh, for these parts, there's a, a nut that slides down the wire as I showed. Then it has this little spiral cinching connector and that holds on to the wire and then there's the gasket that seals it so just make sure that you get all of those components on in order so that the end of your connector is sealed. If you have any questions just leave them in the description below and I'll try and answer them for you. I hope that's been helpful. Enjoy your solar activity.